Welcome back to London Today. I'm with John from Junction Climbing and J2. Thank you for being here, John. Thank you. So tell me all about Junction Climbing and then your new facility, J2, that you've built. Of course. Um, so Junction Climbing opened in 2014. Uh, we wanted to be a, um, what you call a full service climbing uh, center. We built a 12,000 square foot facility not too far from here in the East Village. Uh, we've got uh, route climbing, uh, we've got lead climbing, we've got bouldering, we've got a training area, and it really has all the styles of climbing uh, anyone wanting to do the sport could ask for. Under one roof. Under one roof. Uh, one wonder very <laughs> tall, under <laughs> one very tall roof. Uh, the, um, there's a particular style of climbing called bouldering uh, that's been growing really fast. It's really accessible. It's really fun. And, you know, over the, the first few years of our operation, we realized that, you know, our bouldering space just wasn't big enough, that we needed to um, find a way to expand that. And starting a few years ago, we started looking at different properties. And this spring, we opened uh, a spot up in Hyde Park called J2 Bouldering that's okay. just a bouldering gym. Uh, it's got amazing walls, beautiful natural light, tons of parking, and it's... Um, it's kind of like opening a specialty, uh, you know, taco restaurant only, uh, whereas Junction's a restaurant that would serve kind of anything you could want to cook, so. Can you explain a little bit uh, about each style of climbing that you just mentioned for yeah. our viewers? Uh, absolutely, so uh, most folks, when they think about climbing, they think about the, uh, you know, a big wall with some colorful, what we call them holds, but some people call them rocks, but a bunch of colorful holds bolted to it, and there'll be a rope, and you climb up as high as you can get. Uh, that's sort of your classic rock climbing. Bouldering is shorter walls. Okay. Uh, you go up maybe 12, maybe 15 feet. Uh, there's no rope, just a pair of climbing shoes, and there's a big pad at the bottom as sort of your backup. And then, base, uh, then as you climb, you, uh, you know, try to do the movements uh, and then either down climb or if you feel it's safe, you can jump down on the big pad. The advantage to rope climbing uh, is you just get to go a long way. Yeah. You, you get to go up that long extended challenge. The advantage to uh, bouldering is, uh, it's shorter, it's more intense. It's kind of like uh, one's going for a jog for a couple kilometers and one's doing a sprint. They're, you know, one's, they're both kind of running, but one's got a lot more power involved. And bouldering is that intense, powerful version. Because there's no rope, you can do, um, you know, movements that maybe you couldn't do on a roped wall. You can do jumps, you can do things that are upside down. You can do things that are um, traversing sideways. Uh, there's a lot of creative freedom in the climbing. Uh, it's absolutely fun, very accessible. So my curious side asks, what happens if you get halfway up and you're tired and you need to come back down? Yeah, so on the, on the rope climb, that's a great question. Uh, <laughs> um, on the rope climb, uh, you just let go and the rope holds you. Okay. you know, it's there to be your backup. It gives you a chance to rest. Uh, on a boulder, because you're not up very high, you can either jump down or climb down. You know, you haven't gone that far. One of the fascinating things that you told me, which I never thought about till you told me about it, was you actually change up the routes and the pathways all yep. the time so that people are climbing different routes all the time. Yeah, uh, you know, we go in, take a section of wall, pull all the holds down, wash them, and then put up a whole new set of fresh challenges. So that probably motivates people. Yeah, and every, every climb has a grade of difficulty marked yep. on it, so you can say, this is where I'm climbing at, that's my level, and yep. I'll try this one. If you feel like a challenge, you can pick a harder one. If you're having a day where you want to rest, we call those high gravity days, you can pick an easier challenge. And then a few weeks later, everything's pulled down and new ones are up and you get a whole new set of challenges. Is this something that you should bring a partner for, or is it something you can do on your own? So uh, when you're climbing on the rope walls, uh, the classic way of climbing has uh, you climbing with a partner. Mm -hmm. They operate the rope for you, you do the climbing, and then you will switch. Okay. Um, that, that's called belaying, which is a climbing term, and the person working the rope is called a belayer. Uh, we teach classes on that. Um, it's actually a great class to take. It takes about 90 minutes. You learn all the knots. Uh, you learn all the rope skills. And then for two weeks, you get to come back to the gym as a member uh, to practice all the skills you've learned. But lots of folks don't have a climbing partner all the mm -hmm. time, or maybe they're not available, and so we have uh, bouldering as that option where you can come in by yourself, do your workout. Um, we also have what's called an auto belay, which is a machine that does the, the belaying for you. So there's lots of options for the, um, you know, for people who are solo. Mm -hmm. um, it's also nice because you can come in for bouldering in a big group. So a place like J2, we have groups of four, five, six, eight, ten come in together, and people can climb. And because there's so many climbs, if you're coming in with a mix of friends who are experienced or inexperienced, you know, that mix of abilities, everyone can find the challenge that works for them. You know, that, that 
that you know your competition is against the wall, not against each other. So un unlike tennis, where you have to match the skill of the person you're playing with. Exactly. Yeah. Is this something that you would do like, um, like corporate? events with, yeah. birthday parties, we do, we do um, lots team of building, <laughs> sure. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, we do lots of birthday parties for kids. We do do some um, corporate uh, activities. We are always a little bit hesitant just because sometimes, uh, you know, for, so, for some people climbing, even with all the safety features and all the different challenges, you know, it's going up high and that's a lot of anxiety for folks. And so we always are very cautious to never push anybody to a place where they're not comfortable. And so for some team office environments, it's not quite the right fit. I would say it, there's probably one or two in a group that probably don't want to yeah, do heights. There's, and that's totally fine. Being scared of heights is sort of a biologically useful thing and we, we don't think it's something you necessarily need to get over, but for those folks who want that challenge, climbing is absolutely fantastic. What kind of, for a beginner, what kind of safety measures are in place for somebody? Because um, you and I talked a little bit about this, um, that it's often seen as an extreme sport, but it's actually not. Yeah, it has this old reputation of being something done by, you know, uh, people who want a rush or a thrill, and I, there's still some folks out there that like that, but climbing is really for folks who want uh, a challenge. Uh, climbing tends to be very thoughtful because you have to figure out the sequence of movements to um, solve the climb. Mm -hmm. When you come into a, a climbing gym like ours, we will do a safety orientation for you. We'll okay. take you through and show you how to fall safely, how to operate the equipment, um, the audible equipment. Um, we will show you sort of how to pick climbs so you're on the right level of ability for your, um, uh, for right, the right climb for your level of ability. And then, uh, you know, w under all our boulders, we have, you know, engineered design padding, our ropes are inspected, our harnesses are inspected. You know, we take a lot of uh, care to make sure the gym is as safe as possible. And, and truthfully, uh, because of all that, it's got a, you know, if you were to research sport injury statistics, climbing has less injuries than volleyball, than soccer, than, than a lot of field sports, just because we don't have the same risk of collisions and the same risk of, you know, twisting injuries. It's, it's, it's really something that we, no can be risky, so we make sure we take as much of that risk out. I almost look at it like it's methodical exercise, and it's great for people. Um, there's a lot of people out there that want to exercise, but for whatever reason, bad knees or a bad knee or something, um, they can't have concussion. Yeah, um, absolutely. No, that's a, it's a very uh, methodical sport. It's a sport that rewards people who are uh, patient and people who you know, are willing to find that that precision in their movement. Um, it's a lot of folks have come to climbing because they've, they've been doing another sport and whether it's through uh, concussion injuries or, or limb injuries, they need a sport that has, um, doesn't have that risk of collision or that risk of, of impact. Um, you know, because you're on a rope, climbing, ro rope climbing especially, doesn't yeah. um, uh, allows those folks to be active and in a way that is not repetitive. You know, every climb is different. Um, and you're not doing the same thing over and over again. And once you've mastered a climb, we're going to take it down and change it and put a new one up. Bouldering is a bit different. Bouldering, like we have at our new site, J2, you know, you are jumping down. You are at a little more risk of, of, of yeah. you know, uh, landing. Um, it's kind of what people like about the sport. Uh, so, you know, really what's nice is we've got the option for those folks who want the rope and the protection that brings. And we've got the bouldering, which lets people who want that extra uh, power and intensity be there for them. What's your preference? I like rope climbing. <laughs> I am getting I old enough that my knees don't handle jumping down. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I feel like you like the rope climbing. When somebody is looking at coming to your facility, like is it like a, like a membership that you get or is it you pay as you go? We, we have both. Okay. Uh, so folks who wanna do it all the time, they get a membership, it's just like going to the gym. Folks who uh, why don't you come check it out? You can pay for the day. The one piece of paperwork I always need to mention is that we do have, uh, even with all our safety steps, our insurance company says we need to have a signed waiver mm -hmm. for everybody who comes to visit and that anyone under 18 has to have that waiver filled out by a parent. Uh, we make it easy. We got the waivers. We have the waivers online at junctionclimbing.com and j2bouldering.com. So you can do the waiver before you come. Um, but if you're, you know, being the cool aunt and bringing your nephews and nieces for their birthday, make sure you get the parents to do their waiver before you go. Do you ever have anyone get halfway up and they kind of panic? Uh, not a lot. Uh, if someone's nervous, they can always just let go or climb down. You know, it's, you know, the thing we've learned is 
is forcing people to do a thing is going to make them, you know, you might eventually do it, but you'll never want to do it again. And so we really encourage people to find the climb that, the style of climbing that matches what they want to do and the, um, you know, if they're not having a good time to, you know, you can let go of the wall, come back to the ground. Don't, you're not, you're never stuck up there. Don't panic. And don't panic. And if you're panicking, let go, and then you'll come down. <laughs> how often do you find, like, um, so somebody who's probably an avid climber, how often do they come to your facility a week? Uh, uh, I mean, a regular climber is coming two, three days a week. We've got members who come five, six days a week. We have um, lots of folks, uh, you know, will come. Uh, we have a, a 10 pass option. Okay. So if your schedule is, you know, you love it, but you don't want to come, you can't come all the time. Yep. Uh, we do have those 10 passes as an option to save some money, but still have regular access to the gym. Is your sort of preference for beginners to start out at Junction first? I think Junction's like great because Junction allows you to try all the styles. Okay. And then if you really like bouldering, uh, you can head up to J2 and get and max out on that. Bouldering is uh, really, really growing fast because it doesn't have the extra equipment required. You mm -hmm. just need a pair of climbing shoes. A pair of climbing shoes is 100 $120 for a cheap pair, uh, and you're into the sport. Um, bouldering also is really popular with folks because you can um, do it on your own schedule. You know, you don't need to book a time slot. You don't need to uh, wait for a piece of equipment. Uh, if you went at another gym, you just go to the wall, and it's such a big facility. There's tons of stuff. Well, thank you for being here, John. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And we'll see you next time on London Today.